As long as we're able to have school on campus, we will be having school on campus. Well, today's day one. We're very excited to have the kids back on campus. The teachers are all back, staff is back. Uh, we've been waiting for this one. But the fact that the governor has allowed us as private schools to say, this is in your court. You, you take care of things as you know you need to. On campus, one of the changes you'll see is what you're seeing right here. All of us will be wearing masks, except for the very few of the students that have exceptions. We have hand sanitizing stations uh, throughout the building. We're going to have doors that are going to be open so that people are not touching doors as much. We're going to be having uh, things to where students are going to be able to flow and you can see the arrows down the hallway and able to get around no problem. Temperature checks when they come in. The parents have, have been okay with it. And, and it, this is one of those things where the parents are really excited because we're going. <laughs> and it's not that they don't care what's changed, but they're excited to be back. We are all in this new domain together. And kids need to be in school. Whatever it looks like, they need to be in school. We need to focus on the fact that we need to be a healthy community, which means we need to be educating our kids. Voice track here in three, two. As the Clark County School District continues to prepare for a distance learning school year, not all classrooms in the Valley will remain empty. Three, two. Students at Mountain View Lutheran Church and School have been given the green light to return to campus. Three, two. Chris Schneider is the elementary three two. Chris Schneider is the elementary school principal at Mountain View. He breaks down some of the changes students are seeing. Three two. Schneider says reaction from parents has remained positive. Three two. While most classrooms will sit empty this school year, Mountain View has this message for the rest of the community. Dylan Kendrick, Fox Five News, local Las Vegas.